Welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name's Wayne. I'm standing in the rain. And today we're working on chunk. So I got a real speed treat. Wow. So I got a real special treat for you. What we're gonna do today is something we ain't never done before and we are not qualified to do. So we're gonna tear into the steering gear on the peat, see if we can solve a leak. And uh Hopefully you are as curious as I am about how one of them things works. I was pretty sure the leprechauns filled it full of magic smoke. And that's how they worked. So let's dig in and find out if that's the case. What are you doing? Are you being a fluff? Shit. <laughs> oh boy. This is like a log, you know that. Squirrel. All right, boys, here's the deal. That tranny is like super friggin' nice now. I think I just dicked the angle. Um, and I'm having a real hard time putting that in here. Well, A, because it's 2,000 degrees, and B, because, a couple, you know, like, yeah, last year, year before, I don't remember, a while ago, we put seals in this steering box. Oh, let's see. I'll show you. We did the Pittman seal here. We did this seal, and it's been great. It doesn't leak anymore. The problem is... The rest of the box, not so much. So if you look, it's like straight up dripping off of there. So I think, I think that seal, that back seal is bad. And I also think, uh, yeah, it's like not even wet. It's like, there's no, there's no snail trail. I also think this seal is pooched, which is, this is an O-ring, I believe. Um, like a handy dandy instruction kit. So, uh, I'm thinking in order to get three, these three bolts, it's, if I put the tranny back in, that's going to be a nightmare. So I'm kind of thinking like, you know, let's snowball this project and never put it back together. So I'm going to take this vibrating panel. This is going to come off. We're gonna, and then we're gonna try to disconnect our, our steering shaft up here, which you can see is ooey gooey. Uh, so I'm not anticipating great things there, but if I can get that off, I'm thinking that that is Jesus telling me it's okay to put the seals in the box. So we'll pull the box right off the truck. It looks super light. I'm sure it's gonna be real easy to just pick up and pull right out of there. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'll just disconnect this, I'll lay it down. It's it's scribed, so you can't really fuck that up. And yeah, so it's already I already got a real nice scrape in it when I put a bar on this knot. That's I'm real happy about that. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I think that's the best course of action. So let's get this panel off of here. I'm just gonna. I'm going to friggin' bring you back because nobody gives a shit about me taking this panel off. Fast forward, friends. That came right off. I can't believe it because it looked crusty, but I think it was just grease, actually. And then I went ahead and took this off. So, yeah. Hopefully, I remember that the steering's disconnected before I go to back it off the trailer. Anyway. Next, uh, I'm going to go make a T for the two power steering lines so that they uh, don't bleed all over me because I don't want to be oily today, it's too hot. And then we can unbolt those three bolts and pull the gear off, Lord willing. Yeah, remember how I said I was gonna tee that so it didn't make a mess? Oh, I'll use the zip tie trick again. The green goes on the outside, just so you know. Um, Yeah, I fucking made a mess. I kind of forgot that once I took this one off, 
all the fluid was just free to flow like through the gear and out this hole while I was holding my thumb on that one. <sighs> Whatever, it's only like $300 in power steering fluid. Here we go. <sighs> all right, boys, I'm not gonna lie to you. This feels oddly familiar, like almost like I've done it before. Can't get this bitch to. What's that? Oh, here's the trouble. You gotta like wedge the socket. It's the only socket I have. That's the right size. Wedge that. In the frame rail. This is just tons of fun. That's why I opted to do this now. Oh boy. Shit, man. I don't have a wrench. I don't have a way to get anything on that now. Son of a bitch. I forgot the engine mount is in place. Last time I did that, the engine mount wasn't there. Oh, balls. Oh, all right. What we got here? Oh, I'm gonna get an extension now. Actually, maybe this one. Yes. That's typical. Well, maybe, just maybe, it's broken free enough. Let's see what we can do here. Just like put my thumb on it or something, maybe. Oh yeah, don't be our genius. Oh, is it gonna take this one though? Probably not. piece of shit. Hmm. Inconvenient, fellas. This one's no big deal. I get the one-inch gun on that. This is going to be a problem, though. This one. I don't know about getting this friggin' socket on this one. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe that might work. Let's see. Convenient. Oh, God damn it. All right, let me think about what I'm going to do here. All right, fellas. We got everything loose. I didn't want you to see me blow an O-ring on camera. But everything is loose. Now, shit's gonna get wild. Cause I'm pretty sure that thing weighs like 300,000 pounds. And I weigh substantially less than that. So, we're gonna try. Let's see, I've got one more bolt in it. Let's make sure that this one's in a little bit further. That way it can't fall off of there. 
Let's see, can you all see? Here we go. Okay. Gump, you're a genius. All right, now. These washers. That goes there. Oh, shit, man. All right. Let's see how much it weighs. Mm, I don't know. I can move it. Gonna learn today. heavier than that, I think. Don't drop it. Oh, yeah. All right, fellas, I ain't blowing no ring. Look at the schmoo. It's filthy. We're going to clean that. And the gear. And I'm gonna bring you back. We'll go inside and do the deal on the gear here. I'll, I'll take you through my failure there. Hopefully we only gotta do this once. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it, when we're done, we're gonna put it back on the truck and fire the truck up and make sure it don't leak before we go putting the training back in because that would suck. I just, you know, thought you guys would want to see the schmoo before I clean this all up. Realistically, you know, I build these trucks for me, so half the point of this YouTube garbage is so that I can look back and be like, you know, when I'm like older and more decrepit than I am now, I can look back and be like, holy shit, I did some things when I was younger. So, yeah. This one's for me, so I can look back and remind myself, stop buying trucks, please. All right, fellas, I've gone back and forth with myself about seven different times, whether or not I should take this thing apart, but we're gonna go for it. Worst case, we'll order one. I think all that's leaking is this vent plug, but man, the one that comes in the kit don't look like it'll fit, so we may have to do some creativity things. No guts, no glory. Man, that was right full of juice. Fuck. why I washed it before I did this. Oh boy. You're a whore. Your mother's a whore. You're gonna learn today. I guess we're going old school today, fellas. Could be like one of those transmission shop videos. Would you let me do this? Oh, this truck's never gonna run again. Oh, 
buddy. We can't be really listening to that. A few things we can deal with. That is not one of them. Okay. So what I did here, if you notice, I got that big socket around that pitting gear, whatever, oh, whatever, so that uh, there wouldn't be weight on the back of this. I'm pretty sure that's what that does is set the worm gear, whatever. So I figure if I didn't, if I kept the weight off of that, this thing wouldn't just friggin' eject on me and spritz me. I hate getting spritzed. What can you see? Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful shot. I need my hammer, which I left everywhere because my life is a disaster. Oh, yeah, it is right full of schmoo, fellas. Turns out it's like more sealed than I would have thought too. Thought for sure that was just a pin. Son of a bitch, it must be screwed in. Balls. All right, fellas, well, that's one with the whole thing, which is what I was afraid of. So the only thing I can think to do is count the turns. I hate to do this, man. I know I'm fucking up, I know it. know it. Oh, that's not supposed to do that. I think that's supposed to stay there. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna go. Oh, the screw's not supposed to turn. I don't think. The threads are a little sticky, so we're gonna go one. Count them with me, boys. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, so seven and kind of a half. Man, I don't know if that's even still going to come out of there. So that must thread in the... not going to be good. Half. One. Half. Two. I don't want to lose where that the paint is coming off. By paint I mean Sharpie. Half. What? What's happening? Is it reverse thread? One. It is. Five. Fuck. So that's two. Half, 
gray. So half one, half two, three, four, five, six. It seems like where it was. I'm gonna fucking scrab a line on this side of the screw so I can tell. Just. Just in case the paint comes off. In the bolt. Okay, so. idea was it to put needle bearings in there <sighs> this gasket was fucked though so we're doing the right thing I just feel like maybe we're going about it wrong <sighs> none of this is good fellas None of that looked like it had a needle bearing in it from the diagram. That is fucking inconvenient. I'm gonna need more beer. Fuck. How do you know if you got them all? Or if they're... Like, down in there now. That's not going to be good, fellas. I'm telling you what. We have... This truck is never going to go back together now. And it was kind of like 16 turns, but. This is why we're here, so we might as well change this fucking thing. And then the other thing we gotta do is figure out that vent. I don't know what the deal is with the vent. Also, my other question is. How does this... It's pretty bizarre that it's captured in there, but you can't. Oh, 
and there's like some fucked off seal on it. Oh boy, we are in trouble. Idiot, dude. Might as well get all those right out of there now. Because this clearly is going to end up in the parts washer. And we're going to end up rebuilding this whole entire f***ing gear. Awesome. This looks like it has a snap ring. Which is probably going to hit me in the eye. Which at this point I deserve. Put that anywhere, dummy. This is never going to run again. Dude, this shit is way, way above my pay grade. Um, that's, there's some shit in there, fellas. Let's get it out. Can't tell if some of it was grease or if it's all schmoo, you know? I'm just going to go put this right in the parts washer. Alright, well, we got this thing cleaned up. That plug's got to come out of there. I, uh, scraped around the bottom with a magnet. <clears throat> I got, like, seven more things out of it. There's a plug. That does not look like the one we have with our kit. Inconvenient. I don't know if I'm going to have to drill that bigger. Or what? I've never seen anything like this before. Do you guys know that feeling like, like you know you just cost yourself a thousand bucks, but there ain't nothing you can do about it? So here's that new plug. I don't even know which side goes where. Oh, I do think it'll go in there, though. Sick. But. It doesn't really tell you which side. It does actually fit. It didn't look like it was going to fit. But I'm petrified of losing parts out of it now. I'm not going to lie to you. But I kind of want to get the fluid out of it. Kind of thing, you know? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a real big knot, <laughs> put it over the, uh, touch it boys had to couldn't leave it alone hey wow that sealed like really well did not expect that fluid looked good coming out of that though so that's cool yeah so if you push on the input it's a good thing i put that socket down there if you push on the input it chucks that right out of there and that's what just happened i set it down because just because it was heavy and and then we need to see if we have... What are you guys even looking at? Oh, I just didn't even see any of that. Alright, camera's about to die anyway, so before I smash a GoPro, I'm calling it a night. I'm going to deal with this another day. Not today. Not today, Satan. Alright, fellas, well, you can see I got the grease gone. We uh, cleaned up our surfaces, so they look wonderful this one's clean as well uh, so yeah like I was saying we got the services all cleaned up show you a trick here anytime you got one of these uh, 
roller bearings that's not caged and you need to why can't you see me and you need to fill it back up with the rollies uh there's a trick to doing that i'll show it to you here let's put that there so we don't lose any more rollies so that's inconvenient and we put some get you some grease i'm sure like 90% of y'all already know this. This is like day one shit, but if you don't, pay attention. Your Uncle Wayno's gonna show you something. Use grease without dirt in it. It's helpful. And then you can kind of spread it around in there. What's that? That doesn't feel good. Try to keep the metal out of it. Something. Oh, yeah, look at that fucking thing. I want just one in there. So, what I like to do is just spread the grease out with my finger. Now, normally what you want to do is, uh, uh, you want a thick layer of grease in here. This, this little thin layer that I'm putting in here ain't going to retain shit, but Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I should have done this to begin with, but I'm an asshole. Clean that off. Real good. Don't need any schmoo. Getting on the bearing. When you get enough grease in there to wear it will actually retain something and the grease is sticky so then you can just start putting in your rollers and what I'll do is I'll start over here so you guys can see it a little better so you don't need like a ton you just need enough to retain it and then your rollers will basically glue themselves right in there There's probably some kind of bullshit math thing you can do to figure out exactly how many rollers. I like the suspense of just thinking you got them and then putting them in until you don't. Yeah, we're missing one, guaranteed. <laughs> See the gap? <laughs> I love it. Looks like a crackhead's mouth. Gotcha, bitch. Let me just blow these out so I don't hydro lock the bolt and crack the gear. So this seal, if you remember, came out of here. The new design is one piece instead of three. So you still use your washer here, but you don't use any of this shit. I don't think. Let me see your rollers don't fall out. As long as you don't hit them on this. That's a big F. And this. And 
one there, like that. Just try to lube the edge of it a little bit so it doesn't bone, bone dry. Fellas. I always just like to push down the snap ring, make sure it's actually in the groove. I think we're good. Now the fun part. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. Fellas, so now, down in the comments. Oh, you asshole. I knew I was going to do that, too. It's good. It's not ripping up the seal or nothing, so we're all right. Down in the comments, I want you fellas to put your guesses on how many times... We're gonna fish those needle bearings out of this gear today. How many times do you think? More than one? I don't know, boys. You're right there. Got it. It's real tricky to tell when that starts. This is unlike anything I've ever done before, fellas, and it's, this is a lesson in patience, fellas. Wow. Oh, so I'm going the wrong way. Fucking idiot. Because it's, what do you call it? I'm thinking tightening is going to tighten it, but it's actually pushing it through the gear because it's already on the other side of the That's the side, so 
Let's go. Right now. <laughs> Amazing how easy that starts one. And so now we've got to be sixteen. If I remember correctly, we counted sixteen turns, so that should be right where we have to be as far as that goes. So then we should be able to lift this, push this down. that start some bolts this thing this lock nut went on here and it was what was it seven and a half turns I don't remember I think it was six and a half turns no, it's seven and a half. So. Ready? That's half. It started over there. Yeah, half. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we got a problem. It should be tight to there. So I think the only thing I can do is tighten this down. Put the dust plug in it real quick. I don't want to get shit in there now that it's. I don't even know how this works. It's the vent plug and it doesn't look like it vents at all, so. It didn't sit flush, so I ground a little bit off of it, so. Don't judge me. No guts, no glory. No guts, no glory! Fine. Okay, now, what do we have to do? We are seven and a half turns in, which is what it was. So I'm thinking we gotta run this screw down until that lock knot is hella tight, which looks like maybe we got one extra thread. Yep, Gump, you're a freaking genius, pal. So, I did pretty good here. I'm thinking, as long as this adjustment didn't change, that's the only thing I could be worried about. So there's that. That's where I want that. And then this should tighten right back up to where we were. <clears throat> let's, just, let's just look at that, because that ain't right. I got this clean out the top of the screw because I scribed it on the one side. Just want to make sure I got the right side. So the screw's in the right spot. 
The lock nut is a little off. Click. That is about as close as it's going to get, fellas. Hopefully we didn't screw it up. There isn't really any tension on it there, so I'm hoping that's right. I don't know. Good news is these are all accessible in the truck, I believe. You know, <laughs> accessible. So we can uh, reevaluate if need be. All right, now next, what else did we have to reseal? Was this end? <sighs> these fucking instructions. Suck. That is not this side, it's that side. It's just an O-ring. What do you think the chances are that that will come off of there without pulling? Like, what do you think the chances are that screw is captured, same as this one? No guts, no glory, huh? This is going to be the perfect size to put on here. Yes. Wow. It must be tight. None of them? Got one. One's better than none. Longer bolts. Come on, baby. Ha ha. Two more. I'm so hard about that. Maybe the gun just had to warm up. Okay. What does that stupid little thing push on? Nobody knows because this thing doesn't make any sense. It's not just sticky. Gotcha, bitch. Perfect. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Ah, okay, so this is your thrust surface. I see what's going on here. So when you turn the wheel, it turns this input on the back side here, and this doodly do here, as you can see as you turn it, it wants to come out. As I turn it clockwise, it wants to come this way. So that's what would turn this, but since there's no thrust surface, it's just trying to back the... And then that thing, Puts pressure on this. I have no clue what that is. So we're not going to fucking touch it. We are going to load this with rags, clean up our surfaces, ram an O-ring into it, and send it down the road. And then... 
seven weeks from now when it's no longer raining, I'll put it back on the truck. Okay? What do you think, fellas? Good idea. Here, boys. We are clean. What we had going on here was, uh, I don't know if you can see it down here, there's a little, little trace remnants of, um, it was kind of pitted a little bit, but not like super pitted. So what I did was, uh, I got some, um, whatever it's called, uh, damn it. Like scotch bright. Idiot. And, uh, just kind of worked that groove until I felt it was clean enough to put an O-ring on. I mean, and this is after all the sealing surface that we're trying to seal, so it's kind of important. So now, we get this brand new beautiful O-ring. Oh, treat. Stuff her in here. Put that in there, like so. And then just kind of clean the excess schmoo off of that. All right. Oh, you gotta take your rag out before you can reassemble. I'm sure you guys knew that, but clearly it was lost on me. Man, this fucking thing is the real, this is what's gonna get me right here. This thing's gotta be, cause you can move it. So that's gotta be like the valve. Ready, go. That's small game. So now I'll put these back in. Hopefully, we're done here. Just because you knucklehead senior Uncle Wayne will do this. Don't go doing it. I could die in a fire because of this. But if I do... I don't have to worry about it leaking anymore. If I f*** anything up, uh, you guys tell me. Put it in the comments. One of you guys reached out to me on Instagram and said you did rebuild these for a living. And if I had any questions to reach out, I really appreciate that. I, uh, I have lots of questions, but neither of us have time for them. So we're going to send it. If you watch this video and you see me doing something wrong, Hopefully, put it in the comments, and hopefully, uh, I'll see it before we wreck the truck. That would be great. And, yeah, so hang tight. Let's go put this freaking thing on. Well, it's raining now, but, you know, after that. All right, fellas. Uh, we've got her. Got her on the run now.
I just gotta huff this big bitch up in there. So I think what we'll do is we'll set the gear, I'll bolt it on, and then we'll hook the lines up, hook the shaft up, and uh, I just wanna fire the truck, let it run, and see if it, if it leaks, and we'll go from there. Oh, Jesus. I don't remember it being that heavy. Boys, I'm not sure I can lift that up there. Come on. Even cleaned our inside bolt. TV the bolts so I did the threads and the heads <clears throat> I didn't go all the way down the threads though because I didn't want it to dip into the juice and then wick up so you know we did about halfway down the threads and I don't know we'll see what happens I guess when we get it in there but I'm gonna let that set for like an hour uh, because I don't want to deal with uh, I just want to give that RTV time to set up before we go putting the schmoo right back onto it. I don't want to do this again. This gear sucks to get in and out of there when you have little friggin' wife arms. And I need to get this train in. So, I'll bring it back. Alright, fellas. We've got our, uh, let's see, we got her bleeding back now, it's, I just had it running, she dry, sick, all right, very cool. There fellas, we got her all dialed back together. Hopefully that's last time. I mean, if that doesn't leak anymore, that was really worth it. I am so tired of that thing just leaving a puddle everywhere you stop. So hopefully that was it. In the next video, we are going to put a tranny into it, the clutch. We're going to, hopefully we'll be able to get it off the trailer and we'll take it for a ride. And then we will see you folks. A gear jammer this video will probably be uh 
Well, for the patrons, it'll be out before that. I don't know if the rest of you are going to see it before <sighs> Gear Jammer actually happens. Um, have a uh, fruit juice because you earned it. Now, let's talk about what's coming up. Like I said, Gear Jammer's coming up. We're going to be there. I'm going bobtail. I don't think I'm even pulling the trailer. I don't think it's worth it. I think just we've got enough shit going on to where bobtail isn't gonna we, we just let's put some miles on the truck without breaking something hopefully we're gonna disassemble this box while it's off the truck it's not gonna go back on the truck until i'm ready to put it back on the truck i'm gonna have this all sanded and polished we're gonna polish all of it and replace all the rest of the bolts with polished stainless fasteners like we did down here jimmy's helping you're such a helper but more importantly that's just whatever what we really have coming up i got a new treat and we've got to get it running it is d-deck so we get to have a little bit more laptop action stay tuned for that there's a whole crazy story behind that engine <laughs> It's uh, certainly one that's brand new to me as far as I've never seen a situation like this before ever. So it's a good one. I promise you, you won't want to miss that. Don't know when I'll get to it. Looks like nothing but rain in the forecast. So yeah, I don't know. Stay tuned because we're not going to run it in the rain. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys buying stuff from my shitty website. That also helps a ton. Thanks to my patrons. You guys are friggin' paying the bills around here. Oh. Link in the description if you'd like to join. I don't expect anything from anybody. Uh, so don't feel like you have to. But uh, it sure helps around here because... This stuff is expensive. Next video, we are going to get this beautifully clean transmission into that truck and hopefully not have any more schmoo onto it. Thanks for watching, fellas. Next video, training, and then we're going to drive it. So I'll see you then.